Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am taking a lovely stroll along the seaweed drenched shoreline of Delray Beach, Florida. So welcome, strap yourselves in. We're gonna take a long walk down this long shoreline and I'm gonna show you an absolutely gorgeous day here, late February, wintertime, South Florida. Enjoy the walk. We can actually add this to the walk to Key West, one beach at a time, because I did start at the far northern reaches of this beach before I turned the video on. So it will officially count. We could sort of end it to, add it to the back end, if you will, or the, I guess it would be the front end, the beginning of our journey. So now we've covered Highland Beach, and now Delray Beach. So it will be Delray Beach down that I have walked every beach until I get to Key West. I know I didn't do it in order, but I wasn't gonna go down to Miami today. Uh, I need to give that a little bit of a break. I probably will be doing it next week, continuing the tour of beaches on my way to Key West, one beach at a time. Next up, Bow Harbor, and then Surfside. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just keep walking south now till I get really to the Boca Raton border. You can see, I've mentioned to you guys many times in the past, hey, what's up guys? How are you? Want to say hi? You already did, right? There you go. What's up, buddy? Okay, how are you, man? I'm good, you? Anyway, so this beach is long guys it's a pretty long beach Delray and that's a good thing because it is a very popular beach I started to say that you could see how crowded it is and I've often told you guys that if you get to choose what day to go to the beach and you want to avoid crowds I would say put Sunday last on the list because Sundays are the most crowded days from what I've noticed and all my time going to the beach here. And the seaweed that I mentioned to you guys, I actually gave you a little preemptive alert to the fact that there was going to be seaweed showing up even when there wasn't any. So, so maybe what? Can I ask you a question? I'm sorry to mean to interrupt you. This seaweed here, this sargasm, do you know how long this is going to last? Uh, this is usually the uh, beginning of that season. Summertime is so it actually has a season that it's known for coming in, and it's in, usually in the summertime. In my experience, yes, yeah, around summertime. It's like this. Does it pose any problems for you guys? Any? Uh, other than debris caught up in there, sometimes sea lice, uh, and jellyfish, man organ caught up in there. Uh, other than that, I'm not really an expert either, but yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for chatting. Appreciate the information. You're very knowledgeable. Have a great day. I, I never like to take uh, the lifeguard's attention away. He needs to be focused on the shoreline. And as he said to you, there are critters that will in, inhabit a little habitat. It's an ecosystem for little crabs and you know, other small sea creatures. He mentioned sea lice, which is pretty treacherous here, especially if you have an allergy to it. Um, sea lice is the larvae of the Portuguese man of war. So if you didn't think you had to worry about babies that the Portuguese man of war have, think again, because the larvae, what it does is it uh, irritates the skin. So that's why it can cause rashes and fevers and all kinds of problems. And what's really, really painful is you go swimming and then you get sea lice. I'm not sure what that is. Bathing suit, it just gets in there and it's, um, it's really quite painful. So be careful, you know, I mean, if you're not sure, I would advise against swimming if you see this kind of sargasm piled up on the beach. Um, I mean, if it's clear in the water, it actually doesn't look too bad. Let's, let's go get a closer look at it. 
you can see once you get past this little line that's already made its way in, it's relatively clear out there where those folks are swimming. So it's really not too terrible. By the way, just to give you an idea of where we are, uh, we are now, we've just made it south of Atlantic Avenue. That's Atlantic Avenue, which is the major east-west street. Hello. Yeah, you know, I get a lot of comments in the videos about this seaweed and how ugly it is, and you know, you get some people that are, you know, downright. <laughs> and I get some people that are, you know, make it clear that they think that it's ugly and would keep them away. And I get it, it's certainly not a pretty thing to look at. It's not fun to be going into the water with this stuff around and swimming in it. But it does have its season, comes in, does its thing. Yeah, that season can last a while, and it can be worse at times than other times. But this is not uncommon in other parts of the seaboard. And you can really literally go up and down the eastern seaboard, and you'll find this on a lot of the beaches. And, and the Caribbean as well. Caribbean will get this stuff too. Now, the Gulf Coast... Um, you know, they get it. They'll get some, too. Maybe not as bad as it is here. I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. But it will make its way, you know, around the peninsula and end up on a lot of the beaches. But the Gulf Coast has their hands full with what's called red tide, which is a type of algae that will infect the water there during their season and um, can actually make people sick from breathing in the air around it. We don't have that issue here, so we have to worry about this, but we don't have to worry about red tide. There's just mounds of this stuff. You guys have heard me say it before, I'll say it again. If anybody knows how to harness this stuff, clean it up, take it, and produce, get the energy out of it that's laying in it. Uh, have at it, I guess. I don't know. Talk to the EPA first. I'm just saying that if they could somehow recycle this stuff and make use of it in a positive way, it would accomplish two things. You'd get the energy out of it and you'd clean up the beach. So I'm sure if it was possible, it would have been done by now. It probably just comes down to a matter of money as to whether or not it's worth the effort. It may cost more to do then it would be profitable. So I'm not sure about that. But you can see it just goes for miles. I mean, it just goes all up and down the coast. I mean, if we were walking in Fort Lauderdale right now, Miami Beach, you'd be seeing this stuff. Possibly worse in some areas than others, but nonetheless, it's just a trail all the way up and down the coast. Oh, checkered flag. I wonder what that one means. That's a new one. Is that, isn't that a racing thing, the checkered flag? Surf oh, it's for surfers. All right, let's, let's check in with the surfers, guys. Look at this water just rush in, and these are really good sized waves considering um, the conditions. There's not much of a wind, guys. Those are called Hobie Cats or Catamarans, uh, by hauled sailboats that are a lot of fun to ride. All right, guys, I'm going to continue the walk.
We are heading south in Delray Beach, Florida. Thank you for joining me. Welcome everybody. Another beautiful, typical winter Florida day. Temperature was 87 at its high today from what I saw. I don't know if that was the official high, but that's as high as I saw it get in the apex of the where the sun is in the afternoon. And then when I parked the car, it was 85. So uh, almost summer-like conditions, except for uh, there's kind of a little bit more of a crispness in the air that you get in the winter time down here, even when the weather is warmer. Oh and um, I can't find one cloud. A little bit of a haze out there, no clouds. Continuing the pan, that is a northern shot. You can see how crowded it gets on a Sunday on another very popular South Florida beach. Delray Beach, by the way, is in uh, Palm Beach County. It is just north of Boca Raton, and it is... I'm going to go check out these... Uh, volleyball players here. It is just north of Boca and south of Boynton Beach. So it's in a pretty good spot. If you lived in Lauderdale, even North Miami, it's not too difficult to get to it from those places. And here's the Oceanside Beach Service umbrella. So you can see that they do rent the beach paraphernalia, the umbrellas, the chairs, the lounges, the uh, cabanas. And you know, volleyball nets are very popular down here now. Saw quite a few of them in the beach walks. Saw them in Deerfield Beach, saw them in Pompano Beach, saw them in Fort Lauderdale. I think, didn't we even see one in Golden Beach? So, beach volleyball, whenever I see it, I think of Tom Cruise and the, the first, the original Top Gun. Great scene, classic. I think they tried to uh, reinvent that for the sequel too, didn't they? Who's winning? They are, all right. Hang in there, it's not over yet. Look at this, we got a party going on here, ladies and gentlemen, here's the party. Is this the, is this the winner's circle right here? All right, you, it's not over yet, go ahead. Go ahead, I won't get in your way. They're catching up. Have fun, guys. You better get royalties. I love it. All right, guys. I wanted to just give you a little peek of that. And I uh, want to head back to the shoreline. If you look at this here, guys, this will show you how the tide is carrying a lot of this stuff to this particular spot right here. It's huge piles of it, and you really can't get into the water over here. That is not advisable, but there's a, a whole pile of it here still floating on the surface of the water, so that's what you would want to avoid. But I was here, I would not be sitting in this section of the beach, even though it's probably less crowded. I would move further uh, north or possibly further south, but definitely not in this particular spot. What is that floating out there? That's probably somebody diving off that little skiff. Oh, look at this guy. Remember him? Oh, he's waving to us. Hang in there, Gimbal. We can get this shot. There we go. 
see how close I can get to him. That has to be a ton of fun, and I can only imagine what the view is like from where he's sitting. Okay, onward and upward. Show you guys some of the kayaks and boat rentals that they have here. This this is the spot here if you wanted to do it. Just look for the flags that say boat launch on them. They have surfboards. I've seen people do it and it looks like a lot of fun. Many of you have suggested to me that I do it and I probably should give it a try. It's just standing back here in this part of the beach you can get a better idea of all the umbrellas and uh, all the people that came out for a day at the beach. And uh, you see these umbrellas here. So that right there, I think, is the, uh, what's it called? Cove Beach Club or something? I think it's a beach club. Private beach club. But yeah, when you see umbrellas that are all the same color like this with lounge chairs and folks chilling out here like this, that just means that this is a private beach club. Sometimes the condos have them too, and the hotels have them. And again, there's the beach service on the public beach that will have similar umbrellas. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good. And here you go, guys. Very difficult to get uh, public access in this spot. There is a park here in Delray Beach that's in the south end of it. Um, hey, what's up, guys? We saw you on YouTube. YouTube. And then we moved here. You're kidding. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We saw you on YouTube. What, we, we watched were, you walking on Atlantic Ave. We were researching the area. And we were down in Miami trying to figure out where to live. And, and we you like, did an excellent job of making people feel on the street and we got a good vibe of, of the city and we really appreciate it. Where did you guys come from? We lived all over. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, that sounds like fun. Yeah, <laughs> she grew up in Boston, I grew up in Cleveland. Um, I live, we, we met down in S Southern California. We met at a yoga festival and then um, we uh, moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And then we were like, let's go to the beach. So now wow. We're here. What is your name? My name is Ananda. Ananda. Yeah. And you, sir? Shiva. Shiva. Yeah. So yeah. nice meeting you nice guys. Nice to meet you too. So you, you, it's great that you're a fan of the channel and you watch the videos. And what, what is it about them that, that you like? The personal aspect. It's very, very community based. Well, the video that we watched that made us move here was you walking down the Ave and talking to people and having that community and having that sense of place. And we just really appreciated that. I gotta tell you what, this right here is one of the best segments I've ever done on this channel. <laughs> so I just wanna leave you with that and let you know it has been my pleasure meeting you thank and I'm you. so glad that you decided to move down here. Aw, thank you. Thanks, thank you guys. So We're Ananda Devi and Shiva Das. We uh, make, record, and write mantra music. So you can check us out um, at all streaming platforms. We'll put the link right here. And give us, give us a listen and uh, see you around. Awesome. Yay. Very cool.
so you could see that I got here to this far south region of the beach here and it's absolutely empty. Guys, I tell you what, there's really not much more down there except this beautiful dog coming towards me to say hello. Oh, it's not music. Oh, yeah? yeah, nah, you don't want to hear me say. Yeah, I do uh, mostly like beach walking and things like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you live around here? You uh, Delray or on vacation? Jersey, my parents live in Boynton. I'm, I've become a Delray for 20 years. What was your name again? Douglas. Douglas, Douglas so nice to meet you, buddy. Take care, enjoy it. Oh, he's back. Here he comes, heading south. I gotta get me one of those. I'm trapped. Yeah, stuff is nasty, guys. I'll be the first to agree with anybody that says that. I am not a fan. Don't even tell me you're looking for the ball. Yeah. Really? Good luck finding it in that, huh? Have you guys ever oh, yeah. seen anything like this? Not like no, this no. proportion. This is the worst you've seen, huh? We always had it every year, but not like this. Well, you know what? If you lose your ball in it, I mean, that's just that it, it tells you the story right there, you know? I hope you'll find it. Come and pack off green anyway. Oh, oh there it is. I was your I was your good luck charm, right? Here you go. Have fun guys. So guys, what I'm gonna do is because there's not much happening there. And that wasn't the longest walk in the world. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna just walk back and walk right into that crowd. In. And go a little further than where we started. How, how about that? Look how rough the surf is here, guys. What was that song in the 60s, Wipeout? I think that was a surfing song and that's what it was about. Guys, you could see how much more crowded it is once I got to this point. I'll tell you right now, what's good about it is you could kind of pick your spot. It's not a very long walk, 
that if you wanted to avoid crowds, you could go to where I turned around and just park there. There's nobody. You can see on the beach itself where people are all sitting. How are you guys? And even as you go north, you have just as much of this seaweed. So it doesn't really matter as far as that goes, north versus south, so far as I can tell. Looks almost equally as bad. If I was gonna make a decision of where to be based on the seaweed, it would be not for how much of it is here, but how it looks in the water itself, if you did want to go in. Because there were some parts that were worse. And I'll bet you where those surfers are, probably those tides are carrying a lot of that stuff. And I will tell you guys, even though the air temperature was warm throughout the day, didn't feel hot in the least. Sand didn't feel hot. Was able to take my sandals off and walk on the hot part of the sand, or what would be the hot part of the sand, the white part of the sand, and it was not hot at all. Yeah, there's the pavilion. So guys, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna walk back to A1A. And again, you could see, as I show you, a shot facing north. All the people that are still here and it doesn't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon. And why should they? It's an absolutely beautiful day. Still probably have a couple hours of light left. Why not? This is the popular beach access right here. Pardon me. Thank you, guys. And there's a burger fi right there. That serves ice cold beer. Yeah, it's the only problem is that uh, these showers get pretty backed up here. I'm going to show you guys there's this pavilion here where people can sit that maybe don't want to go on the beach but want to be under a nice cool shade here. I'll tell you the breeze feels fantastic. This is A1A. The major beach road that goes north and south throughout the state. There used to be another shower here somewhere. I'm not seeing it now though. Hey, what's up? Can I so, as it turns out, guys, I got to do my outro in front of BurgerFi without a beer. They ran out. Maybe that's a good thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this walk as much as I did. Till next time, from the corner of A1A and Atlantic Avenue in front of BurgerFi with no beer. This is the Barefoot Vlogger saying, 
Stay well. And stay thirsty, my friends. Next time on The Barefoot Vlogger. How's the pizza? Just like New York? Do I, if you're offering me a piece, I'll take it. I'll give you two, man. Ain't too proud to beg. Look at this. Look at this. Is this what is this the definition of street food? Oh no, my diverticulitis can't take that, but that's okay. Manja, manja. I was hoping somebody would offer.